Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is um, Protector Strong back on uh, Tekken 7. Today we are going to do the... Anyway, apologies for the disruption there. <clears throat> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, so today we're going to do the character episodes today. Uh, we're just going to do a few of them, uh, but hopefully we're going to do all of them either today or finish them tomorrow, because I've got a busy schedule today. Uh, the main story I completed yesterday, and uh, the special chapter... FUCK YOU! Uh, but today, character episodes. Uh, no, I don't want to do Fang. Bang with, always subdued by what was written on the god. First god, defeat all other masters and conquer their stars. The perfect warrior tends his all to become dragon god. A fourth master of many different styles. So, one person. The, per the main person I want to start is my main man. My main character, Horang. We're going to start with Horang. He's the main man. Horang sees one man as his rival, Jin Kazama. Jin. CEO of the Mishibasa declared war against the world and it ensued turmoil vanished suddenly without a trace. Spending there is more to Jin's disappearance than meets the eye. Horang vowed to track him down. With only a shred of reliable information at hand, he headed to the Middle East after a series of deadlies. Horang heard word that a demon had appeared in a appeared in a town. Without a second thought, he got on his motorcycle and hammered down there. When he arrived, the place had been desert, save for Jin Kazama in his devil form. Tell be my main man, Horang. Wow. 
Round two. Fight. <laughs> Don't let them get away. They lost his eye. So is that it? It's just like one. I thought I was on level easy. Is that it? It's just like one episode for each character. So.
Let's see. Round one. Fight. <laughs> It's over! See, Ho Wang's my main man in uh, in Tekken. So now we all know how Horang lost his eye. So each character only got one episode. Okay, the next person, my second main character, Martial Law. He's my second main. Oh, sure, I sure love his Bruce Lee. So, well, Namco's done an excellent job making uh, Marshall look like Bruce Lee and act like him. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so each character's only got one episode on themselves. I like this new character, uh, Katrina. She's really cool. Gonna give. Been playing her as a little while, so let's give Katrina a go. So what's her story? 
Katrina Alves lost both her parents at a young age and spent several years at an orphanage before being adopted by a man she never met. Eventually Katrina rebelled against him using a whole manner of buffoon language, but the man's kindness and patience eventually wore her hard exterior down. In time they grew close through her her chin for buffoon language remained. One day Katrina adopted father Vanish. As much as she wanted to find it, she lacked the money to do so, but then she learned of the King of the King of the Iron Fist tournament. The Zavet the Zavati techniques the man had taught her gave Katrina her that she would that she could win and take the cash prize. The day of the first match arrived and the arena was none other than the roof of G's Corporation Millennium Tower. When Katrina first laid eyes on her opponent, all she saw was an enormous hulk of muscle. There was no way he could be human. Gigas. The gig is to save Katrina's life. Unless Gigas is uh, this man that adopted uh, Katrina. Nice to Nina's Williams. Steve Fox. So that explains why Nina Williams is in a wedding dress. Dodge roll. Sorry, Steve.
will talk to you, even if I have to make you. Round one. Fight. Fight. <laughs> I don't know how to play as Steve Fox. My earliest memory is of a Mishima Zaibatsu laboratory. I don't even know who my parents are. The only one I remember is Dr. Cleese. She was always nice to me. Vaz's well, mother. Mishima Zaibatsu, and for several years siphoned out intel. Unfortunately, none of it really led anywhere. But your name did come up, time and time again. So tell me, what's your connection to the lab? To me? She's your fucking mom! Those labs were used by the Mishima Zaibatsu to create super soldiers. Their goal was to physically and genetically engineer the ultimate soldier. Of course, it all ended in failure. But judging by your left arm, you must be one of the survivors. <sighs> At the time, the Mishima Zaibatsu had captured me and forced me into cryosleep. Taken free? It recently that I discovered my genes were used in their experiments. Wait, so does that mean you are my mother? Don't get the wrong idea. You'll never be my son. I couldn't care less about you. If anything, you're a thorn in my side. <laughs> charming, Nina. Very fucking charming for your son yeah, there. Yeah. I'll take care of this. There you go, Nina. Steve Fox is your mo Steve Fox is your son. As you said, a thorn in my side. Well, you know what? It's music time. Thorn in my side. You know that's all you ever worth. Just don't think you know better. Is what so you need to make me. I was feeling complicated. I was feeling loved. Oh, every time I think of you, I shiver to the backbone. Ooh ah ooh ah ooh ah ooh ah. To run away from you. <laughs> Fun in my side. <laughs> All about the singing. It sure is. <laughs> Ooh, wrong way. Uh, let's do Yotsumitsu. He used to be my favorite character back in Tekken 2, in 2, 3, and 4. And now he's... I don't use him anymore because some of his moves now are just a bit shit. And now, um... And some of his you know, can easily do his fucking backspin when it does it, that takes damage off him. So, I hardly use Yoshimitsu now.
two. Now that's just fucking Five. shit. I also did like Yochimitsu in uh, Soul Calibur 2 as well. He's really good in that. Enemy first loss. Oh, Kodo the Kangaroo kick them. It's not a he, it's a she. It's a she. <laughs> and that's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That was by as lucky clinical. Lucky Chloe is a pop sensation and the face of the G Corporation brand. When a mysterious man bursts into the G Corp and look and took out God after God with dance slide techniques, Lucky Chloe fiercely walked right up to the to, fiercely walked right up to him and blocked his path. Eddie Gordo. She threw the man off one of her trademark smiles and shoot him to a challenge. Fight her and if he loses he'll have to work as her back back in dancer without caring if except the conscious of not she prepared for battle. Correct <laughs>
Get it. <laughs> you win. a little bit of English and a little bit of Japanese. What you fucking get for for annoying every single Tekken player with your fucking annoying Capoeira moves online. Uh, let's play Lily. Tu crois sûrement pas que tu peux me battre. Oh, mon Dieu, Madame. Monsieur Lily? Lily entered the King of Iron Fist in a game without her and her father this time either. Then she was away, smiling at the rapturous crowd, looked on and her opponent entered the arena. Lily was set to fight Azuka Kazama. Someone she had personally considered her greatest rival for many years. If Lily saw the look of annoyance on Azuka's face, it doesn't show as she just walked away. Led you to the center of the ring like she owned it. All the while, thinking, thanking Lady Luck for the opportunity to fight her rival. You know the funny thing about Lily's fighting style? She made it up. Her and Sebastian made up the fight. Uh, that's got to be a broken spine. Zivati.
That's a broken arm. Round two. Fight. Oh, I should have seen that move coming, really. is so funny. Lily's just nuts over. And again, like I said yesterday, the the, the language logic here in Tekken. How the fuck did Azuka, who speaks Japanese, understood a single word what Lily said in French? How does that work? Does everyone seem to know how to understand each other in this game? Anyway, let's play Brian. Against Bob, huh? That's every Tekken person's every move that is. Every time I've gone on, everyone does that move. Don't get me wrong, Brian's a really good fighter. Don't get me wrong. It's 
favorite weapon, the pole. He always has that giggle, doesn't he? First at first scene in Tekken 3. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, let's play as King. Another one that everyone uses online. DDT, motherfucker! Do Leo. Leo ends the king that I first him in the hope of recovering more about his deceased mother. Leo's a woman. Now there's a massive debate there was a massive debate in the in the Tekken community. If Leo was male or female, but technically, it well, it's been confirmed. It, it, she, Leo, is a female, but tended to be a, a male. But some people say some Tekken players say he's male. Leo's a male. Some Tekken players say Leo's a female. But I think Leo can be just what you want, what you Leo want to be. Be Leo as a man or Leo as a woman. So I don't mind, but. Pound the story, it's Leo, it's a woman pretending to be male. So, it's Leo. That's what I read up in, in researching him, uh, researching Leo. So I kept thinking, wait a minute, is Leo a woman or a bloke? Oh, the 
machst ihr wirklich Angst. Round one. Fight. That could not have got any more weirder. Was is that for a thing? A tintenfish? A octopus? A ninja? That is also this strange type about whom all speak. Japan is so verrückt. Nein, ich muss mich auf meine Mission konzentrieren. Bis später, komischer Oktopus-Typ. Let's see who Josie is. Jersey Razor to try her best to support a family by balancing two jobs. Jobs. One as a model, one as a professional kickboxer. One day, while she was out running on her usual training course along the mountain road, she was suddenly confronted by an enormous hairy creature. Josie screamed and then fled half in tears, but the creature. Remained hot on her heels, realizing she had a little chance to escape. Josie abruptly came to a halt, then turned trembling to face her feral foe. Gosh. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Round one. Yep, Kuma. Am I right? Josie's a kickboxer? I thought Josie was a Muay Thai fighter. Get knocked the fuck down, Kuma! Oh, cool! Now, that's what Joe say. Kuma's twerking! Kuma's twerking! It's Miley Cyrus in a fucking bear costume! <laughs> Ooh, Miley Cyrus, don't kill me, please! It's only a joke! <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you lot will be laughing. Don't find me dead in a Miley Cyrus toy box somewhere.
fight. Did he get the fish from? <laughs> you know what I should have a bit of panda? Come and love a bit of panda. Come is a loving panda. Paul Phoenix. Oh, perfect ruined. Yeah, just run over, um, Paul Phoenix.
one. Fight. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get that punch in, but I did. That was cool. The one inch punch, famously used by Bruce Lee. This thing guy's really strong, huh? So next we got Bob. I hope you're ready. Stupid. Go on, Bob. What did you think was going to fucking happen? Bob never made it to the tournament. <laughs> Just right away. Bob never made it to the tournament. Poor Bob.
Yeah, Horang. Sorry, Horang, but I know all your moves, mate. Yeah, called Horan to lose an eye there. Come on then, bring it on! Dovrai essere pronta. Mm, capisco. Ma non ho mai detto che mi sono Bene. Era quello che volevo sentirti dire. What is he up to? What is he up to, Claudio? Again, those two. 
them two together, then two together, then two together. Then two together, them two together, those two together. Those two, those two, those two. Actually, not Josie, she for Kuma, so I'm actually a bit wrong. But Josie for Kuma. The serious marksman, a secret society of exorcists. Sarà un piacere combattere contro di te. Round one. Fight. Okay, okay, now I see why everyone likes that hop. Puoi unirti a me. Credo che sarai un'ottima esca per la mia preda. So he is up to something. If I find what this Giga Sky is. See, I win.
It's the man who adopted her. It is, it's the man who adopted Katrina. Story. that Russian round one fight <laughs> Oh, that was a cool grab. Dragonov, you try too hard. And not to mention named after a sniper rifle. Sugri Dragonov. Sugri Dragonov entered the King of Arin Fist Tournament on Army Orders. At the designs at arena of his first match. A woman appeared before him that was something strangely familiar about her. It did take Dragonov to fight long to figure out who she was. And he wasted no time in redeeming himself for combat. The time for Desavania! there Great. 
So I just got a great back. Final round. So he's a Samba fighter. A Russian army wrestling uh, martial arts. Paul Phoenix. No pain, no gain. Unbelievable how much how, look how much damage this Paul Phoenix just does. Look at that fucking hell. That one puts just so much damage is unbelievable. Now. That's a bit fucking over excessive, ain't it? Eddie Gordo. Vamos lá. Very funny, Lucky Chloe. Very funny. Me 
diz onde está o Kazuya. <risos> tá brincando comigo? Hum? Pega, pega, pi. Droga! Well, Eddie, you just been trolled. How many we got left? We got Jack, one, two, three. Three to go. <laughs> ah, to be a lucky Chloe, lucky clinical, lucky clinical. Now I got this Shaheen bloke. Who is this guy? Shaheen works for a private military film firm spe specializing in provision of security service during this time. Yeah, cheers, this uh, Shaheen guy's got some really good moves, I tell you what.
سأختار طريق الرحمة بالقيام بذلك سيتم الإعفاء عني أيضا لعدم قيامي بإنقاذ صديقي كازويا ما رأيك في العمل معي؟ ماذا؟ الشرير الأكبر إذا كان الأمر كذلك فيجب أن لا أدعه يهرب في المرة القادمة التي يقابله فيها لأجل أصدقائي لأجل العالم أجمع علي إيقافه ذلك هو Hey, one more person is Miguel. Sigue así y te acabarán matando. After losing his sister in an oh, it's his sister, not his wife. All right, because I've not played Tekken Six. I think it was first in five or six. No, oh, Tekken Six. I haven't played that. I thought the woman who died was his wife. No, it's his sister. After losing his sister in an airstrike ordered by Mishima Basu on the direction of Jin Kazuma. Miguel Cabriol Rojo. I didn't think that was going to get him then. Cracked his neck. You win. Come to Gail, get your revenge. No me reconoces? No, supongo que no. Misima Saibatsu. A mi hermana en un ataque aéreo como si no fuera nada. ha sufrido lo suficiente como para merecer la muerte. No, todavía no. No hasta que estés lleno de esperanza. Entonces te mataré como si no fueras nada. No te atrevas a morir hasta que llegue ese día. So he had his chance and he didn't do it.
I said that's everyone done. Yeah, that's all the characters, ladies and gentlemen. I want enough fast. See, Horwang is my main. He's my main man. is my main man. See, Hoang is my main fighter, and then you got Martial Law, who's my second main fighter. I don't, I'm not really sure who's my third, but my top two is Horang and Martial Law, but but before, but I used to be Martial Law as a kid. I did used to be Martial Law, Martial Law a lot as a kid, especially in Tekken 2, then Forest Law in Tekken 3, but also as a kid, I used, I used to be Yachimitsu a lot as well. Yeah, Tekken 2 and I used to play Yuchi Mitsu a lot. And 4 as well, but then like TT2 and Tekken 7, no, Yuchi Mitsu less, and then now we're starting to use uh, uh, Horang and Martial Law lots more now. And fun fact about me, I actually act like Horang and Martial Law in real life as well. Like, um, at my local gym, uh, Body Combat, I. Sometimes act out Horang and Martial Law in real life as well. Like Horang, I do his like his jump, his Taekwondo jump stance, and sometimes do Martial Law sometimes. Because I like, Bruce Lee is one of my favorite martial artists to f uh, to fit uh, to watch and all that stuff. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, that's all the character episodes done in what about nearly an hour and a half, something like that. Yeah. So I'm afraid for me that's for me to end the stream, but I will be back on Tekken and normally on Tekken 7 a lot. So if anyone wants to fight me online, feel free to fight me. And I will Twitch stream now and then but me fighting online. Uh you will see me always as Horang or I'll or another free time I will Twitch stream me, me I'll show you how good I am as Horang in Treasure Battle. Yeah, so thank you everyone who gave it their free time to watch me. It's been Protector Strong played Tekken 7, the character episodes, and I'll see you all next time.